Hey guys, this is Thomas from Design Plus Code here to talk to you about the Angle plugin for Adobe XD that we've just released. Now, before we get started, I want to show how to install the XD plugin. The first way is to go to our website and download the free sample, which I have opened here. And also, you can purchase the full package, which includes 500 mockups for XD and Sketch. In these uh, packages, you will find a file called angle.xdx. I simply double click and this will allow me to install the plugin. So now that I have XD opened, I can also go to plugins and manage plugins and this will allow me to install the plugin from the plugin manager. So as you can see, I already have it installed, but I'm just going to uninstall for demonstration. So I can also go to all plugins and you can see other plugins here but I'm going to scroll down to where angle is and here it is and just click install. And there you go, I've installed it again. So I'm going to open up a document in XD and this document contains a bunch of mockups that are also part of the full package as well as three artboards. One called iPhone, iPad, and MacBook and I'll show you how to apply these artboards onto their respective mockups. So the first one I'll do is this iPhone. And to apply angle, I'm just going to select the screen. So either by double clicking or going to the left menu and selecting the screen layer. And I'm gonna go up top here to plugins, angle, and apply mockup. Now I'm gonna click cancel, because I can also do command backslash. This will open up the dialog as well, which will allow me to select the artboard that I want. In this case, I just want my iPhone. And I can also select the pixel density as well as the picture quality of the image that I'm going to be applying, as well as the orientation, which I'm just gonna leave at default. And I'm gonna click apply. And as you can see, it applies a perfect perspective transform of the image onto my mockup. And it's not just limited to mockups. In fact, I can just create a simple rectangle like this and I can manipulate the path points as such by moving it to the right like this and moving this one to the left like this. Now I just do the same thing, command backslash and apply my iPhone onto this new shape. And as you can see, Angle applies the image onto the new shape as well, just as it would a screen. So I'm going to go down to the iPad here and select the screen layer and do command backslash and this time choosing the iPad and this will demonstrate it working on the iPad. And as you can see, it's also a perfect perspective. And now the last one I'm going to do is this MacBook. So I'm going to go into the screen again, command backslash, select the MacBook. And here in the dialog, I can also access instructions and also purchase mockups from that landing page and I can just click apply and there you go it's a perfect perspective as well so I can also reset the screen by doing blank mockup which will set the screen to blank in which case I can reapply again I can also reapply on top of an existing screen layer and thank you for using our plugin